hope you can hear me okay. I was just driving down the driveway, 193.6 hours. That light started blinking. I was running right about, uh, about 1700 RPM. It sped itself up quite a bit. When I realized what it was doing, I just firewalled the throttle. Big puff of white smoke came out. I raised the bucket up to get it out of the way of that hot exhaust. So, right now it's doing its third region of its life. I did it at 50, no, fourth region. It's done about every 50 hours, 45, 50 hours. So, We'll just let it run wide open. Engine's nice and warmed up. I wasn't working it too hard, but this should burn it out all right. And I'll be good for about another 50 hours or so. As soon as I turned off that last one, that second light came on. I believe what that means is that it's up to temp and that it's actually doing the regen right now. So this should take like 10 minutes or so. Uh, I just leave it sit here and run. You can continue to work and it'll calm itself down and you know, cool itself down, but I'll just sit here. I'm, I was getting ready to park it. So I'll just sit here and, and wait for it. And when it's done, I'll just idle it down and let it cool down at an idle and park it. Then about 10 minutes or so, the other light went out, the engine revved up even more, and I think it's, oh, it just turned off. So, at this point, it is done doing its regen cycle. I'm just going to idle it down to about 1500 RPM. gonna let it sit here sorry I'm not set up to be filming right now I grabbed my phone when I saw it doing this I was just doing a quick little job with the tractor and it started to do its region I knew it was gonna happen pretty soon but so the reason I'm idling it down to 1500 I can put the bucket down now too dump it out a little bit So the reason why I idle it down 1500 is because this engine is extremely hot right now. And you can tell that's just the water temperature, but that is an indicator, you know, of, of how hot this thing. That turbo is probably glowing red right now. And if I just idle it straight down to nothing and shut off the tractor, because I am shutting it down, I'm parking it, uh, then I can run the risk of, of doing some damage to that turbo. So we'll idle it down to stages. So now I'll pull it all the way down to, to straight idle. And we'll let it sit here for a few minutes. So while it's idling down now and cooling down even more, I'd like to explain exactly what just happened. So under the hood on this side of the tractor right there, and I'll take a picture of it and put it in here, is a big can. And that's the DPF, or the diesel particulate filter. So the EPA says that all diesel engines should have a way of cleaning the exhaust before it enters the atmosphere. Newer trucks uh, that use these like pickups and that sort of thing use a, a, a combination or just a product called um, diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF. And they have to put that in their in their in their DEF tanks whenever the you know whenever it requires it, and that's a whole different system. This is a diesel particulate filter that is just like a giant air cleaner that uh, needs to be cleaned out every once in a while. 
So every 50 hours, it, or when it senses that it's get, starting to get clogged up, about 80%, I believe, with the computer reads, it will ask you, do you want to do a, a, re, a regen right now? And you have just a few seconds. It'll idle itself up, you know, bring itself up and everything. You have just a few seconds to use this button right there, this one right here, to say no. If you hold down this one for, I think, like three seconds or something like that, you can postpone the, the regen. And I believe this one is do it, you know, kind of a thing. If you if you said no, you can say do it, kind of a thing. Um, the reason why you would want to postpone it, say you're out in a wheat field or in a, in a pile of brush or something like that, and there's a fire risk. You know, this is just one example. Uh, that you would want to get to a safer place that you're not going to cause a fire to do the regeneration mode. And it only takes about 10 minutes or so, like I said, but the, the big thing to note is that you can actually continue working while it regens. And so actually the last time it did that, uh, no, not the last time, the second to the last time it did that, I was actually out brush hogging when it went into regen mode. And I just kept working. I just raised the bucket up again because that exhaust pipe that's right down there gets extremely hot and it's throwing hot embers and and uh, it, could, it could burn the paint on the front end loader. So I just raise it up out of the way and, and that way there's no risk of that. And I just kept working, I just kept brush hogging and it went through its regeneration mode and everything was fine. So what happens is the engine revs itself up, it gets extremely hot and it starts burning out all that particulate out of that filter. It gets to a point where all that soot that's been trapped in there uh, gets just, just burned out and it all comes out the, the exhaust port down there. Some tractors, they do a regen like every 15 hours or something like that, or five hours or something like that. Uh, this one's every 50, so which is good in my opinion. But and I don't have to worry about DEF. So and I'm compliant with the EPA. I'm not a big fan of that, but you know the exhaust gases that come out of there, out of the exhaust port are pretty clean and you know the tractor runs good it's got plenty of power so if I gotta you know deal with a regen every 50 hours it is what it is so alrighty well that's it for this one thanks for watching and I hope you learned something maybe something about the regen mode so sorry I didn't get my phone out fast enough when I decided to do it it's always kind of a surprise. So, like, subscribe, uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.